drinking tequila. I'd show you the bottle, but it has no top on it. I hope you don't mind it being undressed. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Phil Hendry, and welcome to Drunk History on Comedy Central. Tonight, the story of Daniel Inouye. Cheers. Daniel Inouye is putting his tie on one beautiful Sunday morning when suddenly his father's in the hallway and his dad's like, this is not a drill, this is not a joke. Pearl Harbor's been attacked. We're America is bombed. Hawaii is bombed. Pearl Harbor is bombed. Bang. Down he goes into Honolulu. And he was the first guy in line to enlist. And they came out and said, you can enlist. Inouye's like, why? Because you're a Jap. You know, it sucks. That just blew his f***ing mind. He was, what are you talking about? I'm ready to rock and roll on this sh You know, why can't Japanese Americans fight? Well, this was bullshit because not a one of these people had proven themselves to be anything other than loyal Americans. It wasn't until 1943 when finally the 442 was organized. We are the go-for-broke Japanese American uh, unit. The regional uh, intermittent... Internet... The Internet Regiment Team. Ooh. Man. <laughs> The 442 Infantry Regiment, United States Regiment. What the f is that? Man? Well, we're going to build the scene. Let's, let's see what we oh, got. I see. We're going to hide there. What the f is this? He's playing a guitar. Look at this one here. Oh, right? yeah. Is that Labonga? He's Yeah, he's doing a guitar move here. You see it? Just, yeah. So, uh, the fighting in Italy was brutality on chain, man. It was mountain fighting. It was slow. Plotting deadly warfare. Daniel is a he's a lieutenant, so he's leading a platoon. It's April of 1945. The objective: we got to clear these machine gun nests. What? You know? Let's send these Japanese guys in. Let's see what they can do. Okay? You know, go out, kick ass, take names, come up. You know, let's go, man. In a way, leads his platoon up this ridge. Gradually, he sees his men behind him getting killed. In a way, by this point, says, my men are sitting ducks. But in a way, is the officer, and he's Daniel in a way. He says, okay, I got a, I got a, I got a bag full of grenades. I'm going to take another shot. Daniel in a way, by himself, he kept advancing. It's like something out of a movie. The guy's throwing grenades and firing with machine gun. Throwing grenades, firing with machine gun. Boom! He take out one nest with hand grenades, another nest with small arms firing hand grenades, and now comes the third machine gun nest. You don't have to finish that, by the way. There's oh, no... I might as well go ahead and do it to it. Yeah. That's the baby. That's the baby. Boom! As he goes to take the third, bang. He took a bullet through the stomach. He looked down. He said, I feel okay. I'll keep going. Right at that moment comes a rifle-propelled grenade. Boom! This arm is now shredded. He looked down. He said, there's a arm next to me and there's a hand grenade into that mother he says jesus h christ i better throw this grenade he grabs the grenade throws it into this machine gun nest here and then boom. he crawled behind a tree and he stayed there nine hours finally by midnight in a way was taken down the hill guys are coming up to him going what happened to your arm what gone. I don't know which one you're talking about, man. The right arm is not there. All right, so it's not in there. Oh, but the oh, geez, this guy with the arm, you love him? The arm's gone, it's gone. I don't know, you want to go up and look for it, Billy? You can go up and look for it. But I'm going, and I'm going to get some chow, and then I'm getting my ass out of here. I love how this cat just keeps it together. I'm hammered, man, on this and he's all, yeah, hey, what's up? After the war, the 442 was the most decorated unit in the history of the American Army. The prejudice against Japanese Americans uh, continued. He said, God damn it, if those motherfuckers don't believe it yet, we've just proven we're patriots, man. We kicked ass. We lost our arms. What is going on? You know, you, we need representation of the Japanese Americans. And now began Daniel Inouye's career as the very first Japanese-American representative in the United States Congress. And when Daniel Inouye died, President Obama said, Daniel Inouye was an inspiration to me, and without him, I would not be in politics. All right.
you a true patriot. Right on, man. There's nothing wrong with that, man. No? Nothing wrong with that. He overcame uh, the prejudice of this, the prejudice. <laughs> you dirty mother...